This is the SA Diplomat and welcome once again. Today we look at South African heroes and I'm sure you recognize the person sitting next to me to my right. He needs no introduction and especially now after a fantastic weekend of rugby and South Africa being the champions in the world, we focus on sport as a whole and the man sitting next to me doesn't need any, any introduction as far as uh, uh, championships are concerned, as far as medals are concerned and as far as his sport is concerned. I'm speaking to Chad Leclo this evening. We're sitting at the Torch Hotel in Doha and he's here on a, on a short visit, hopefully very successful for ourselves as South Africans and for him as a sportsman partaking in the swimming championship here in Doha. Hi, Chad. It's a hey. pleasure having you Thank sitting you. next to us and uh, we're pleased to have you here in Doha and to welcome you to the city. Thank you. So, to kick right off, um, I think firstly, uh, this is your first intro into the SA Diplomat. I'd like to our, our viewers to find out a little bit more about Chad Leclo. So you can give us some history as to what got you into swimming and where the career has taken you and where you are today. Well, thanks very much for having me on the show. It's great to, to be here. Um, you know, my journey started a long time ago when I was very young. My dad taught me to swim when I was really you know, three or four years old. But uh, my dream really started uh, back in 2004 during the Athens Olympic Games where I watched, you know, um, Rake and Roland and the boys uh, win the, the gold medal for South Africa, yeah. speaking on positive notes. And of course, Michael Phelps winning those six golds. Yeah. Um, I was 11 years old, and my dream from that was just to be an Olympic champion. I just wanted to be those guys. And uh, yeah, obviously, um, eight years later, I shocked the world by beating my hero Phelps in the Olympic final. Uh, we remember that. And uh, we it, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was an unbelievable moment for me, for South Africa, for my family. And uh, ever since then, I've been just focused on trying to be the best that I can that I can be, and uh, a positive role model to society and to the kids. And you know, I've opened up the Chad Leclo Foundation and uh, Academy in South Africa, and, and hoping to inspire the next generation, and give back to to all the kids and, and, and you know underprivileged communities to to develop. And, and yeah, let's see what see where that goes from. So, so we were speaking before um, before the cameras started <coughs> rolling, and, and you were saying you. You, you are regular to Doha, so yes. you, you've come here quite regularly and uh, you're fond of the city and you're fond of the people. So this time obviously you're here for a specific reason, but on other visits you, you've been here for various different reasons, um, hopefully some of them being holiday as well, <laughs> but uh, um, tell us a bit about your relationship with the people of, of Qatar and uh, how they play, how they benefit you in your career and, and in your life at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just a big shout out to Mr. Keol, uh, President of Qatar Swimming Federation, you know, he brings me out here and um, I've you know, been friends for a long time now with my dad, um, coming back to Doha since I think 2012, right after the Olympics was my first time here, uh, September 2012, yeah, and uh, all the guys at the pool, you know, had a great relationship with everybody here. Um, come here numerous times on holiday and of course mainly for swimming uh, you know amazing city ever ever growing every time I come back uh, something new is happening but uh, yeah I spent a lot of time here also you know Aspatar and, and um, training and, and, and uh, developing but uh, just in general you know the Qatar everyone here is welcoming you with open arms so yeah. Now, now you know um, we've had many a sportsman sitting in the seat where you're sitting at the moment and um, a lot of them have, we've only had the opportunity to speak to them because they've been here for some kind of treatment at Aspita, um but not really during competition time. We're fortunate to have you um, during a time that we know it's, it's hectic, you flew in this evening, you must be tired, we grab <laughs> you away on the last minute for this interview. But you here specifically for a, for a reason this time round and that is obviously to represent South Africa um, in a fantastic competition that's being hosted in Doha. Can you tell us about the competition and your preparedness for that? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, like I say, always great being back here. Um, probably my eighth tournament racing in Doha. My first uh, 
Uh, my first World Swim of the Year actually was here in Doha in 2014. I was the first um, South African and African to win that award. It's like winning the, the Ballon d'Or of football, you know, so a huge honor for me. Um, and I won four gold medals that time at the World Champs, so it's a pretty lucky place for me. Uh, kind of undefeated here the last couple of years, but uh, this tournament now is the World Cup. Um, yeah. It's the final stop. It's actually my first uh, stop of the World Cup this year. Obviously preparing for the Olympic Games next year, so very focused on that. But happy to come, kind of use this as a stepping stone towards the Olympics, but also to see where we're at in my training. Uh, as you said, <laughs> I just touched down and came straight from the pool. So. Yeah, a little bit tired, um, uh, but yeah, it was quite a tough couple of weeks of training, but uh, happy to be back in Doha and like I say, see all my friends and a couple of the other guys I just saw earlier today uh, arriving. So uh, yeah, great to see a couple of my teammates. Yeah, no, so, so I mean, our, our main focus um, from the ESA Diplomat and ESA Diplomat abroad is basically looking at people who flies the flag high for South Africa. And as a, uh, a champion, in your in your sport we consider you one of the heroes of, of sporting from so that from the African perspective so we specifically looking at a, at a segment um, that would cover sportsmen um, that had benefited uh, the brand of South Africa had benefit benefited the flag of South Africa and the people of South Africa so we commend you number one Thank for uh, the work you're doing with the kids back home um, we know that South Africa has its own problems and it takes individuals like yourself uh, to assist communities um, to become beyond the point of disimpoverished. So thank you firstly for that. Secondly, um, we just got, went through a fantastic weekend um, where South Africa I think is put on the international stage once again. No pressure on you for this next <laughs> uh, few uh, upcoming days. But uh, we know that South Africa has been put on the, on the platform as far, far as being displayed to, to the world as a nation of champions and you being here, um, it's the perfect timing for us because uh, you're one of our champions. Um, tell us about your medals. I mean, you, you know, we, we know there's Olympics, uh, Olympic medals. We know there's world champion medals. Um, the achievements um, overall, uh, have been in sub mountain. I mean, we we're very proud. Number one and number two, we we want to know more about you know what drives Chad and Chloe as to the achievements that that you've achieved in your life. Firstly, thank you for that. Um, you know, when I started swimming, I just loved being in the water. I love I love training. Um, I was always very motivated by a lot of people. I think after Olympics in 2012. Um, it was different for me in the first time kind of doing so many interviews, everybody knowing me and, and being like a champion. And um, sometimes you you don't forget what it's like, but before the Olympics it was a lot more simple for me, my yeah. life, you know? And now it's obviously a lot more hectic, but I remember a time when I was training for those Olympic Games and you know, my focus was purely on just being the best that I could be and focusing on trying to become an Olympic champion. That was always my, my dream, you know, my, absolute dream and, and I think touching on the World Cup this weekend you know it, uh, it was an emotional time for me to watch that because I know a lot of the players very well personally and uh, I was watching with my girlfriend in, in, uh, in Turkey we actually had it on the big screen and the projector at the hotel and uh, it was it brought tears to my eyes because you know you can almost feel what that feeling is like you know after going to Olympic Games in some respects I mean obviously it's completely different but same similar in some sense and I just like it was amazing to see the boys come through uh, the mental toughness they showed you know the defense I mean I'm no rugby expert but I mean I could see that one or two tries yeah. to New Zealand only <laughs> it was unbelievable and I think it just shows as testament to South Africans characters more than anything because you asked me what drives me and I, and I think for me I want my legacy to be remembered as you know a positive role model for the for the community and for swimmers globally and in South Africa, but also as a tough competitor. More important, you know, not more importantly, but more importantly for the gold medals, just being a tough competitor. People knowing that it's never going to be an easy race against me. You know, just like the boxer, you know, it's going to be a physical game. It's going to be a tough match. You know, we you knew we had England's number. You know, we're a physical team. We played to our strengths. We we, we dominated that final. 
you know. And I think that's how I go into tournaments, even though it's not a contact sport, but I pride myself on being a very physical, you know, mentally tough, you know, swimmer, let's say. And I think that's how South Africans are in general, you know. I feel like that's our heritage, you know, that's our, that's our culture, you know. And I think for me, I'm super proud. After this weekend, it was it was amazing. It was truly, truly amazing. Well, we saw your posts on Instagram, and uh, yes, indeed, you can see you were very proud. Um, finally, Chad, is, are there, is there any some sort of advice you'd like to impart to the youngsters out there looking to get into the sport, and uh, just general advice for South Africans? Um, I think the general advice for South Africans after this weekend, you know, just everyone's buzzing. I know. I wish I was back home right now. I mean, all my friends are calling me and telling me. I actually got a message from my mates just before I came here, and he told me, you know, like, you know, you have an opportunity next year. Just seeing what it's done to the country, you have another opportunity next year to just inspire, lighten up everyone's days and just breed positive energy, you know. Um, I think it's the perfect time to, to be so you know, to, to build on, you know, not focus on negativity. I think that's that's a problem in, in many aspects of, of, of life, people focusing on the negative. You, know, you want to focus on the positive because that, that brings more positivity, you know. And uh, I think for me, my message to the kids is just never to give up. It's, it's a cliche and it's as simple as that because when I was a kid, that's what my dad taught me, you know, I, I, I never quit, doesn't matter, I, <laughs> I never know what happens in life, you know, next year I can, I can get silver, I can get bronze, I can get 10th, uh, it doesn't matter, I, I will come back in 2024 in Paris and, and I'll make sure I try to win again, because that's that's the way I was brought up and that's the way South Africans are, so uh, for me, keep going forward and don't worry about anybody else, just keep focusing on yourself and go. Indeed, we know you'll make a success of it in the future as well, you haven't peaked yet, I think you you still there, and uh, yeah, the future looks very bright for you, in our opinion. At least. Thank you. And I think that's hopes on South Africa from South Africans as well. Absolutely, Chad. It's been a pleasure speaking to you, and thank you very much for making this time on a very tiring day on your side, which thank I you. know. No, it's always a pleasure. Um, yes. uh, yeah, we we hope to see some more of you over the next few days at the championship. Absolutely. Thanks, Matt. This is the SA Diplomat. We were chatting to Chad Leclo the South African pride swimmer, um, all the way uh, in Doha. The SA Diplomat is the voices of South Africans abroad, and for those of us who have our feet firmly planted in South Africa, this is a view of what South Africans are doing internationally. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, goodbye. Sure. Freak.